Good evening, friends. Now I want to share, uh, my name is Faith Storms. I am a licensed social worker therapist with a passion for human design and helping people understand their unique design and how to live it out. And in this video, I'm going to discuss briefly what the type of projector is and does. Projectors make up about 21% of the population. And what makes a projector a projector is that they have no motor connected to their throat center and have an undefined sacral center. The sacral center is like the, the battery, the powerhouse of, of design. So again, let me show you a picture. So this is an example of a projector. See their sacral center right there is white, is undefined, and they don't have, so the motors are the sacral center at the root, the solar plexus, the um, solar plexus is the emotional center or the will, the heart center. And you can see there are no connections to these, these motor centers, these four motor centers to the throat. So that is what makes a projector a projector. Okay, so because they have an undefined sacral center, they can feel and experience the life force energy of, of the other types. They are, projectors are designed to work hand in hand with generators, because we generators have all this sacral energy, all this life force energy, and projectors are designed to feel and sense and know our energy, and then utilize it, work with it. So projectors, they are one of two, they're called non-energy types because they don't have the sacral center defined and their openness allows them to be a guide to others. That is the benefit and the blessing of that open sacral center is that they understand, they can understand other people's energy. Now you can have, there's three different types of projectors. I'm not going to get into that a lot. I'm not going to get into that in this video. That would be more of an individualized um, little talk. The strategy for a projector is to wait for the invitation. So projectors have this probing, um, let me see how it's described, have a focused and absorbing aura. So their energy field is very focused, it's like pointed, and absorbing. They're, and, and because of that, they need to be invited to access another person's energy. So if a projector is going around like trying to make it happen, as if they're a manifester, then they're going to get rejected because they're not going to have, say, the generator's permission to access the generator's energy. So it's really important that projectors wait for an invitation. So they need to be invited in to be a part of the generator um, process and the generator energy. So it's this, and the strategy of the projector is not like as a generator, we go moment by moment, respond, respond, respond. With the um, projectors, it's not about that moment to moment. It's about more of major decisions in life. So things like the invitation to love, the invitation to career, bond with others, a place to live, like these bigger things is what they're waiting for an invitation for. And it, it's interesting. It says they don't have to, that once they do what their type requires, their aura does the talking. They don't need to like make people engage with them. Their energy field is going to do that. <sighs> And recognition. If, if a projector, if you as a projector are getting recognition from others, then that means you're with the right people. And if you're not getting recognition, then you're not with the right people. So not self-projectors. If you're not in the right energy, if you're not using your strategy to wait for the invitation, then you're, you're going to be, you're, you may feel starved for energy. You're going to compromise, settle for the wrong energy. 
which leads to bitterness. The If you're not acting in your proper strategy, then projectors feel bitter. If you're acting in your proper strategy, then you are going to feel success. You're going to experience success. You're going to feel successful. It can be, if, if you've been conditioned, we've all been conditioned. So if you've been conditioned as a projector, it might be difficult to, to distinguish between right and wrong recognition. Um, it's really important to, if you're properly recognized, you're going to get clean energy. It's going to feel really good to you and not be kind of messy. You want to be seen for who you are. Projectors tend to have a strong intellect. They like to study things. They like to understand things. Um, but because of that, there's also the tendency to have a deeply conditioned mind because, you know, that's what happens. And sometimes you try to control your life through mind strategies and not self strategies. That's not going to work very well. Projectors tend to be very sensitive and they're often mostly focused on others. This is fine unless that is interfering with um, being invited. So it, and because the projector's aura, because your energy field is so penetrating, the other person can feel invaded. And that's why it's really important that you wait for the invitation. Even if you're well-meaning, you know, if you just go around giving advice, it's often not going to be well received unless you're invited to help, unless you're invited to give advice, invited to be a part of something. And projectors can be deeply pessimistic that other people won't be interested in them. And this comes from often a lifetime of not being recognized. Uh, when projectors hear about their type, they often immediately resonate with the word invitation. They've that you you need that invitation um, projectors can become exhausted and you need to to learn to manage your energy properly to know when enough is enough so because you have that undefined sacral center you can become highly conditioned to be like a a super slave and work twice as hard as everybody else and that's not right for you. That's not proper use of your energy. This is not healthy for you because you cannot run like a generator. We generators can go, go, go. We, I, as I've said for years, we're energizer bunnies. Now, everybody has different levels of energy, but in general, generators have a lot of energy. Projectors, you don't. Not within yourself. You can access and utilize energy of others when you're invited when it when the relationship's correct but you can't just go 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 it, it's just it's not in your design it's, it's not a right or a wrong it's not a good or a bad it's just not in your design so it's about waiting for the invitation honoring your inner authority which i'll get to in another video which which part of your design you want to check in with about how to make decisions but your general strategy as a projector is going to be waiting for the invitation for for the big things in life not every little thing but for the big things when you're, you're talking about connecting with others work and where you're going to live and how you're going to order your life when it involves other people you need to be invited that's the uh, that is the strategy wait for the invitation all right Hope that was helpful. If you need more specific, detailed, personalized information, please contact me. I'll be happy to work with you about explaining and helping you to understand your design and live it in the best way possible. See you next time.